what's going on? I'm Tony Blando from Comics Remix, and I am here with the Shockmaster, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, also known as Tugboat, depending on, you know, when you were watching and where you were watching and all that sort of stuff. Natural disasters. Exactly. So, if you don't know the man, here he is. What have, what have you been up to lately? What have we been up to? I'm here at Comic-Con, brother. I'm at C2E2, having a blast, enjoying all the different uh, cosplay people around, meeting a lot of wrestling fans, just having a good time, man. So you're enjoying it. How about business-wise? What you been up to? I'm doing a lot of shows similar to this, sports shows, uh, comic conventions and stuff like that. I'm fixing to go to Toronto for Comic-Con up there, uh, Knoxville in uh, June, up in Massachusetts in the in the end of June. So I'm just having fun, man. And when I'm not, I'm at home built, working on hot rods and uh, uh, doing a little art. I draw myself. Wow. So, you know, just having fun, man. That's great. I don't think a lot of people actually know that you're an artist, so that's fascinating. So, do you do any wrestling at all anymore? No wrestling, brother. I'm retarded. No, oh, retarded. Yeah, well, retarded and retired. <laughs> yeah, it's not politically correct, but, you know. So, no wrestling for you these days? No wrestling, man. Just signing signatures, meeting people, having a good time. That's it. That's great. There, are, You know what? I find it so fascinating how the Shockmaster has become such just the gimmick and you know how zany it was, has become such an entity in and of itself, that Brother, there are so 20, many. 20 years after the event, okay? Okay, it was a bad night that night for me. Live TV, no do-overs on TV, okay, at that time. Uh, and it's the most talked about, the most seen uh, and viewed event on uh, YouTube. And like I said, you know, I still get so lots of pictures. The original uh, mask is behind you that yeah. went through the wall. You know, what I'm saying? check it out over there. That's the Shockmaster helmet. The Bling Trooper, baby. <laughs> the Bling Trooper is right here, live in color, baby. If you know what I'm saying. There it is. It's just phenomenal that the, the Shockmaster has become an icon and a crown jewel in professional wrestling. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. Crown jewel. Only on my head, man. Only on my head. <laughs> Only on your head. Yeah. So do you do you watch Raw? Do you keep up with professional I wrestling? Yeah, my son's actually working behind the scenes in WWE now. Um, yeah, I watch, I watch a lot of the talent. I actually go to a lot of independent shows. I like to, from where I live at in Florida and check out some of the talent there. I talk to guys online all the time. And uh, they ask me, you know, about different things and stuff. And I watch some of their video footage and stuff and give them suggestions and stuff. And, you know, it's my only opinion. It's my opinion. You know, just like when I talk, I do podcasts. I do uh, uh, a couple other different things, you know. So it's kind of cool, yeah. So you still watch the show? Did you catch WrestleMania 30? I watched part of it, yeah. I watched part of it. How do you feel about Brock Lesnar ending Undertaker's streak? Well, brother, you know, you know a lot of people are disgruntled and everything like that, you know. Uh, but, you know, Superman only lives in the comic books, you know, if you believe that. I mean, Taker is the man, you know, irreplaceable. He's a legend. I mean, a tremendous worker and a great guy on top of everything else. You know what I'm saying? Very fan, Always been a fan favorite, always will be a fan favorite. You know what I'm saying? What happened is what happened, you know? Anybody can be beat, beat on any given day. Exactly. So... If you could pick one of the most promising superstars today on the main roster in WWE, who would you pick? Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. I, he seems to be a huge fan favorite, so it's cool that you're on board. What does your son do behind the scenes? Uh, he's just learning production. Learning production, just doing di different things. He was at Access and at Mania, and you know, he's just uh, he's working behind the scenes and learning the business. That's awesome. He's it's an great to hear. Referee, though, also, I just want to put it out there. Referee. Excellent referee, but. What he's doing now is, it, I think, is a better decision. That's awesome. Well, it's great to hear that you're still in the business. You're still very much, you know, wrestling savvy, and that your son will kind of carry on and be in the business as well. As long as he's having a good time, brother. That's what pro wrestling is about. I wrestled for 17 years, 300 plus days a year for 17 years. There's planes, trains, automobiles, sometimes boats. I mean, depending on where we're at, 48 different countries of wrestling, every 50 states, and every little town in, in, in the U.S. So. You know, I met a lot of great people, met a lot of uh, good kids, uh, had fun. You know, that's, that's awesome, and that is what wrestling is all about. And you're a, you're a huge advocate, and I'm glad that wrestling is about fun. Pro wrestling is all about fun. So it's been awesome to, to stand here and talk with the Shockmaster, the awesome. Tugboat. It's awesome and to talk to you, man. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, so very have a great time at the con, and thanks for hanging out with us. Awesome, man.